Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Proteomics plays a vital role in biomedical research in the postgenomic era. With the technological revolution and emerging computational and statistic models, proteomic methodology has evolved rapidly in the past decade and shed light on solving complicated biomedical problems. In this video, we will share on current understanding of high-throughput proteomic investigation strategies and understand how it can help make connections to existing knowledge. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos. We hope you will like the concept sharing lesson. Let's continue with our topic. There are several high-throughput technologies that have been developed to study proteomes in detail, including mass spectrometry, MS, based techniques like tandem MS and gel-based techniques like differential in gel electrophoresis, DITCH. These technologies generate large amounts of data, which can be recorded and stored in databases to enable researchers to make connections between their results and existing knowledge. Databases are crucial for organizing and preserving this data. Proteomic experiments typically collect data on three properties of proteins in a sample, location, abundance or expressional turnover, and post-translational modifications. Depending on the experimental design, researchers may be directly interested in these data or may use them to infer additional information. For example, co-localized proteins may be inferred as interaction partners and a protein's activity may be assessed based on its post-translational modifications. Translating Human Genome Project Successes Bort's Human Proteome Project Since the completion of the Human Genome Project, which mapped the entire human genome, many genomic markers have been identified and are used in medical sciences, some of which have been developed as routine tests in clinics. However, one limitation of genomic or transcriptomic profiling studies is that genomic and transcriptomic data, which only provide indirect measurements of cellular states, may not accurately reflect corresponding protein changes. These data do not reveal changes in post-translational modifications, PTMs, such as phosphorylation and protein degradation. Therefore, genomic data alone cannot provide a full picture of disease mechanisms. The Human Proteome Project has been launched to characterize the entire human proteome using advanced proteomic techniques, which is the next major challenge in this field. Guidelines for interpreting proteomic data have also been published and recently updated. Proteomics is the study of protein composition, structure, expression, modification status, and interactions and connections between proteins at an overall level. It combines proteome experimentation and data analysis and provides complementary information to genomics and transcriptomics. It is also crucial for creating a map of complex, interconnected pathways, networks, and molecular systems that control major life activities such as cell proliferation, differentiation, senescence, and apoptosis. The proteome is not static and varies from cell to cell and over time. While the proteome is to some extent reflected by the underlying transcriptome, protein activity, often assessed by the rate of reactions in which the protein is involved, is also regulated by factors in addition to gene expression levels. Over the past decade, there have been significant improvements in experimental technology that have led to the evolution of proteomics methods from conventional techniques like immunohistochemistry, IHC, staining, western blotting, and enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA, to high-throughput methods such as tissue microarrays, TMAs, protein pathway arrays, and mass spectrometry. These high-throughput proteomics techniques not only reduce analysis time, but also increase the accuracy and depth of proteome coverage. The commonly used high-throughput proteomic techniques include mass spectrometry, protein pathway array, next-generation tissue microarrays and Luminex. Luminex, mesoscale discovery, MSD. Simoa and Olink are effective high-throughput methods for clinical validation after the proteomic markers are verified using tissue microarray, TMA. Regardless of the specific technique, global proteomic approaches can generally be divided into three phases, discovery, network analysis, and clinical proteomics. In the discovery phase, the amino acid sequence and unknown protein structure are identified and qualified. In the network analysis phase, Global signaling networks are built and the relationships between known proteins are investigated to explore potential biomarkers and verify them. Finally, in the clinical proteomics phase, clinical assays are developed related to the productization of the biomarker or panel that fits the clinical flow. With the advanced 
factors in bioinformatics and modern multi-analyomics technologies, proteomics has the potential to reveal the molecular mechanisms underlying diseases and discover novel biomarkers that can be used as specific diagnostic assays, prognostic predictors, and therapeutic targets to further advance personalized medicine. To summarize, proteomic technology and research have made great strides in the past decade. The increasing capability of high-throughput proteomics methods has generated real-time and in-depth datasets, and effective data mining technologies have played a key role in the search for novel and useful biomarkers, which are essential for early disease detection and treatment. The advances in computing power and the rise of artificial intelligence have further expanded the role of proteomics, enabling the use of highly advanced statistical and computational models to integrate proteomics data with other omics data. This trend is revolutionizing proteomics data analysis and creating a larger blueprint with a wealth of clinical and health-related data. It is an exciting time for proteomics to become a key discipline and integrate with other disciplines, though it will also face emerging challenges as it moves towards a deeper understanding of single-cell biology and individualized precision medicine to enhance both basic research and clinical practice.